When did cinema become art? In its early days, the silver screen was seen as a form of video entertainment, much like the way we see YouTube or TikTok today. Not exactly high art. And while cinema has come a fair bit further than the likes of the aforementioned online platforms, in its early days the argument wasn't entirely invalid. While there were iconic works like A Trip to the Moon and The Great Train Robbery, they were unable to surpass the literature from which they were adapted in terms of substance and depth. They only really act as visual reinterpretations. So that begs the original question, when did cinema become art? At what point were all doubts safely cast aside that the movies were here to stay? Maybe I'm exaggerating the importance of this film. After all, a lot of early cinephiles were already sold on the idea of cinema as art. But in the world of academia, this was the medium's big breakthrough. Not only did it introduce and popularize new techniques like double exposure, but thematically, the movie was groundbreaking for adding the very thing that most early films lacked, substance and depth. The film explores themes of morality and classism within German society, while also tackling the complex psychology of uncanny horror. The film was even referenced as a primary source by Sigmund Freud in his study of the uncanny, and its popularity started one of the most important movements in the history of cinema, German Expressionism. The film follows a university student in Prague named Baldwin. He makes a trade with some evil sorcerer dude to make some money so he can be rich and marry some girl, and then the sorcerer's like, But I'm not done yet! And he makes Baldwin a uh, second Baldwin, and then uh, shenanigans ensue. I'll be honest, this movie has not aged particularly well. That's a lot of dogs. Maybe I should watch this on double speed. Wait, why are we, why are we here? How did we get here? Is this, is this Baldwin? Is he one of the dogs? I thought we were following the dude and the sorcerer, but no. Now we're just watching some dudes pal around. <laughs> what, what was that? Oh, it's Baldwin, okay. I, why did we watch like a half hour? Why did we watch that? Why were, <laughs> why were we following the dog brigade? Oh, bye. What, go to land. Where are you going? Go to land. It's shallow. How did you need saving? Good job, Baldwin. Silent films can't have like talking scenes like this with no inner titles. Like what was the point of this scene? I just watched a guy walk into a, a room onto a set. It looks like a stage play. He said some shit and now everybody's gone. Oh no, watch out. You're gonna run into that painting. All right, this is fucking cool. That's pretty sick. Why is this shot going on for so long? What is this? Who is this person? This is not Alec. How did we get here? It's still going. It's still going. Oh my god. This is like the pie eating shot from a ghost story. What was that? What was that? Why? Was that the woman he saved? I have no idea. I didn't even, like, see the woman he saved. I barely even, like, that whole subplot is completely... It's just not explored at all. But it's integral to the character's motivation. Why don't we know more about this woman? Is this the same woman? I assume it is. Yeah, it's gotta be. Bro. How do you not see her? She's right there. What's happening? What is this? She's right there. Why Why does the movie have this shit? This is padding. I- okay. Th there are so many issues, like, on a technical level with this as well. I- I don't know, like, where my eye should go from shot to shot. And it's like, I have to, like, look around the frame and then find the characters. It's like, where's Waldo? Uh, you know what? I'll say this. There are a couple, like, nice tilts. Not nice, but, like, for the time, you know, tilts and camera movements weren't very prevalent. There, there are a couple in this movie, and I think that's worth mentioning. Who is this woman? Who is the, this background woman? Why is she in the film? She's sneaking around even when people know she's there. Where is Alec? I d why are we following these women? We haven't seen, like, a doppelganger for, like, 20 minutes. I might care if, like, I cared about the his relationship with the woman or him. I don't, I don't have any empathy for him. He's not, like, a good person. Or even a very interesting one. Where are the fucking inner titles? 
These scenes don't mean anything. You're not gonna stop him? Alec doesn't do anything. He just watches things happen. He's such a passive character. How fucking boring. Oh, I love that. You know, a few close-ups would have done this movie a lot of favors. <laughs> Poor Alec. He's such like a, he's such a dumb guy. Especially in like a, a psychological horror film. Usually it's all about like the wits of the characters. But the, like Alec is just stupid. He's just like this dumb guy. He didn't even do anything wrong. Like he didn't deserve any of this to happen to him. But I also don't care that it's happening to him because he's so stupid. I think this movie would have been a lot better if it needed more varied directing, like shot design, and it needed, well, it needed a better main character because fucking whatever his name is, Alec is so boring. Train cell guys. <laughs> oh. I don't like this shit, my brother. <laughs> it's too fucking, like, uh, bland. Okay, so it's not a riveting masterpiece. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it's, it's not good either. What was that? I know I just praised the tilts and the pans, but like... The film honestly shares a lot in common with other failed art films, even ones that are contemporary. In its focus on its thematic pretensions, it often lacks the character depth that makes art films so palatable. This is an issue that I find prevalent in a lot of early silent films. The character is a vessel for the plot rather than the other way around. Baldwin is just some guy. His motivations are basic and his flaws are one-dimensional. If you want to experience the actual moment of synthesis between artistry and character in cinema, you'd probably have to start with The Birth of a Nation. Problematic film for sure, but there's a reason why every film scholar will tell you it's the true birth of cinema as an art form. The student of Prague helps set the stage more than accomplishing that actual synthesis. He's got a bit of a dump truck going on back there. <laughs>